Ready for wireless charging? Let's check out some options. Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk about Qi charging. Yes, the QI is pronounced Qi. Now you know. And what I want to look at is I want to look at a couple of different charging bases from a couple of different companies, and then I want to look at a little adapter you can use for your existing generation iPhone if you don't yet have an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10. Now, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10 and a number of Android phones actually support Qi charging. For example, this is the LG V30. It's a very nice phone and one of its many cool features is that it does support Qi charging. So I'm actually charging it right here on this base as we're talking. So let's look at this first. So this first base, this is from a company called Phone Salesman and it's really nice. If you look in the back, you can see there's sort of, you know, the sort of standard tech gadget thingamabob. But more interestingly is it actually has a bamboo cover, so it's very attractive looking. And it sits there with an anti-slip surface. And one of the things I really like is it comes with a matching color cable. And Qi charging, if you've never used it before, it's like magic. It's like what you've always wanted with your devices, because you don't want to screw around with plugs. You want to just put it on a surface and get it centered and it's charging. My phone's now charging, which is super nice. Now, this particular one, this is known as the Wood Puck, and as you heard, it gives you an audible beep on charge. We'll test the other one and see if it does that too. And has the color matching USB cable. It's a bit bigger with 3.7 inches in diameter. You'll notice that the PowerBot PB1020, which I'll be looking at momentarily, is definitely smaller. It's really actually exactly the same size as the inside unit on the phone salesman. In fact, who knows? Maybe it's the same unit. <laughs> but we'll get back to this guy in just a second. So the basic thing with Qi charging is that there is sort of like a sweet spot on the back of your device, and this will be the same for iPhone 8s and iPhone 10s and any other devices that will support Qi charging. I'm hoping the Apple Watch will move to that because having all these proprietary chargers and stuff, it's kind of for the birds. If you're going to have a standard, have a standard. But you get it centered, you get the feedback, and you're good to go and it's charging and now it says on the bottom here on Android charging wirelessly two hours 21 minutes till full and that's part of the thing is that it doesn't charge as fast as if you plug it in that's just sort of a reality but if you can imagine there are some cars now that have a Qi charging pad built into the dashboard so you just put your phone in the little pocket or something and it just starts charging fantastic like high want. You can also imagine these being built into tables at a coffee shop. So there you are at Starbucks or something and there's a little circle in the middle of the table and you just put your phone on that circle and it's charging while you're having a cup of coffee. Again, this feels very futuristic. I'm really excited for this. So this particular unit runs $19.99 at Amazon.com. Again, the phone salesman would puck. I really like it. But here's the thing with this and with all of these devices, you have to BYOC, bring your own charger. So what I'm using for this is I have this really nice little iClever mini charger and it's a 2.4 amp smart charger with smart ID. So it's pretty darn inexpensive if you want to pick it up again as an addition, but you probably have spare chargers. So now I'm going to plug in the PowerBot. And this also comes with a cable, and I suppose it's a matching cable because it's a black unit and a black cable, and I realize I'm wearing a black shirt, so a little hard to see there. Is that better? <laughs> now you can see it. Cool. So, again, same sort of thing, non-slip um, base. My cord's a little shorter here, which is a little awkward, which is probably something to know. The cord's a little shorter. And again, we'll put our phone on here. And... It didn't give us the beep. That's an interesting difference, but it is now charging wirelessly and it's saying again, two hours, 22 minutes. So same sort of charging. Really, it's the charger unit that you're plugging into the wall. That's the thing that's gonna make this work faster or slower. Although some devices, some of the Samsungs can charge faster over Qi charging if you use the Samsung gear. Um, 
my belief is that if you're just going to have this sitting on there while you do something else anyway, like make dinner or, I don't know, watch a movie or something, then the difference in charging speed is probably fairly negligible. But let's go back to this. So this little hockey puck is called the PowerBot PB1020. And it maxes out at 2.1 amps, so my 2.4 amp charger is a little more juice than it wants to deal with. But it has some nice built-in circuitry, so it won't overcharge, it won't short circuit, it's gonna stop anything overheating, including your device. And it's a little smaller at 2.5 inches and 1.8 inches thick, and has that groovy LED on the front, which I like, which tells you that it's hot and it's ready to charge. And this one's considerably less expensive. This PowerBot unit is $9.99 on Amazon, and it comes with the cord too. So while you have to use your own charger, not a huge big challenge. So these are both interesting. I'm going to actually switch back to the wood puck just because the wire is a little longer because I want to show you something else. So let's get that one back hot. Okay, now with the longer cord, it lets me just have it sitting here, which is great. We'll move this one to the side. And what I want to show you is the company that makes the um, wood puck also has this IQI Mobile, or iQi, I'm not sure what you'd call it. But this is actually pretty interesting. So iPhone 7, not Qi charging. If I put it on here, nothing happens. So they sell this little gadget, which is basically everything you would have wanted to have built into the phone so it would support wireless charging as an external thing. So, has a lightning connector, I plug it in, and now, and it only works on one side, not the other, but now, let's see, I think it's this way. No, it's this way, let's try this. And if I get it just so, theoretically, there we go. So now, I hope you can see my iPhone is charging via wireless charging because I'm using the iQI Mobile. And the idea, I suppose, is that you actually tuck this in and then you use a case that actually lets that sit in the back. And then when it's on the case, then all you have to do is drop it on a wireless charging device and you enjoy all the benefits of Qi charging even though you don't have an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10. Now, in practice, this is a pretty dicey proposition. This is just a really tricky little gadget to work with as you saw. It's super small and it's only a half a millimeter thick so it'll work with a fair number of cases, but you need a case that gives you space on the bottom to have that wire go and it can't be made out of metal or any other device, um, sort of substances because that will actually get in the way of the charging pad working. So you can use like a soft rubber case or something, uh, but again, you could, I suppose you could even just tape it to the back if you wanted to really just enjoy the benefits. Um, and then you have that same challenge of getting it to center, but the good news is that because it beeps when you're charging, you at least have that feedback with this particular Qi charging pad. But all in all, I love Qi charging. I really do. I'm so excited to get this for my new iPhone 10. I really like the PowerBot at $9.99. It is a no-brainer acquisition, so you have an extra one maybe at the office or something. Or if you want to spend a few more bucks, the bamboo one's really beautiful. This is a really nice finish, and bamboo is a super sustainable um, material. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, they're gonna cut down that poor bamboo and it'll take 30 years to grow again, totally not the case. Bamboo grows insanely fast. It's really, really a highly renewable resource, and it's very attractive. So this seems like a much better deal to me at $19.99, but when you get to this last final piece, the little IQI Mobile, it might only be $14.99, but I'm not sure I'm gonna recommend it even at that price, because I suspect that, like me, you'll find it more frustrating than interesting, and it's just sort of a novelty, honestly. If you really, really want wireless charging with an iPhone, then you need to get an eight or a 10. So, all in all, before we go any further, do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, fantastic. And while you're at it, if you can click the like, if you do actually like this video, I sure appreciate that feedback. And let's see. So we got the two wireless chargers, both super cool. 
and we have the little wireless adapter for your iPhone. Not so excited about that one. So be it. This is Dave Taylor and I'll catch you in my next video.